What's going on you guys? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division video. And I hope you guys are enjoying 1.8.3 like me. This is going to be a build video for 1.8.3, which as far as we know is going to be the last patch of the Division. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys do enjoy these videos, smash that like, subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions at all or need help, Hit me up in the comment section below, or if you see me online playing, just shoot me a message, and I will gladly help you guys out. But, without further ado, this is the 1.8.3. This is my team, Banshee. So, run this with a team. You'll be the Banshee player. So, obviously, you're in a team, you're doing the PvP, so you need to be the one hitting them all when they're on their knees. So this is going to be a six piece banshee with the house as my primary, lightweight M4 as my secondary, and my sidearm is just a normal pistol with predatory. Killing a target regenerates 35% of your health over 20 seconds. So if you're low on health, knock down your target. Hopefully your team is knocking them down as well. Make sure you're the one, give them that elbow and get your health. Now I'm gonna go over the guns, uh, the two weapons, and then I'll go over the gear. So my two weapons again, the house and the lightweight M4, both fully optimized. In fact this entire build is fully optimized at 291. So the armor, the weapon damage, all that is maxed out. So with that being said, my house has 21.5k on the base damage. It is responsive, deadly card counter. And my lightweight M4, 18.9k on the base damage. Deadly, unforgiving, and predatory. Now, predatory on my lightweight M4 is optional for you guys. However, for me in a team, if I'm knocking the guy down or if someone has him on a knee and I'm not close enough, I, and instead of whipping out that pistol and hitting him, I can take out my lightweight M4, mow them down from, you know, a few meters away, and still get that health. So that's the reason why I do it. Also, it has Unforgiving. So if I'm low on health or anything at all, it'll boost up the damage as well. But for the most part, I'll be running my house. So the weapon talents on my house are the Loud Vent Break, Small Grip, Extended Mag, and Pro Red Dot Sight. So, right off the bat, you can see the RPMs are stock at 850, and the DPS is at, this is without booster or card counter. So, loud vent break, 19 on the crit damage, 6 on the headshot damage, 3 on the crit chance. Small grip, 19 on the crit hit damage, 2 on the accuracy, 5 on the reload speed. That extended mag, 119.5 on the mag size. 3 on the crit chance, and 4 on the crit damage. And finally, that pro red dot sight, 19 on the crit damage, 3 on the crit chance, and 6 on the headshot damage. Going down to my lightweight M4, we have, again, loud vent break, small grip, extended mag, and this time a rugged mini reflex sight. So, quite similar to the house, we have the loud vent break, 19 on the crit damage, 5-5 five, five on the headshot damage, 3 on the crit chance, small grip, 19 on the crit damage, 5 on the reload speed, 2.5 on the stability, extended mag, 120 on that mag size, 3 on the crit chance, 5.6 on the rate of fire, and finally that mini reflex sight, 7.5 on the crit chance, 5-5 five, five on the headshot damage, and 4 on the crit chance. Now that gives me a 51 crit chance, 136 crit damage on my house. And on my lightweight M4, I have 32.5 crit chance and 117 on the crit damage. But, alright. So, let's get into the actual Banshee. For all you new and returning players, I will go over the set bonuses. So, Banshee Shadow, set bonus 2 gives you 20% looted DZ funds. Set bonus 3 gives you 10% damage out of cover. And set bonus 4 gives you the 
Talent Banshee. Now there's two different parts of this. First is Wild Rogue. All of your ammo is refilled every 30 seconds. And your damage taken from non-rogue players is reduced by 10%. So basically, flip on Rogue you get 10% less damage and you don't have to worry about your ammo. And then you have while not rogue. So while not rogue, damage to rogues is increased by 10% and this bonus is increased to 20% for 10 minutes after you are killed by a rogue. So if a lot of you see me playing with my solo Banshee build, you would know that I would run out there, die real quick, get, get that 20% buff, and then mow them all down. But let's go ahead and talk about the classified set bonuses. So set bonus fives gives you additional 20% DZ funds, which gives you 40% DZ funds, looted DZ funds, and an additional 5% damage out of cover, giving you 15% total damage out of cover. So that number on my DPS, you have to add the 15% damage out of cover. You also have to add 10% from responsive and finally the set bonus 6 improved banshee so like set bonus 4 there's going to be two parts while rogue and while not rogue so while rogue the time to clear manhunt status is decreased by 5% for every group member within 15 meters so if all of you are running together to that manhunt point you be the one to clear the manhunt off and it'll go faster and faster up to what what's that 15 percent faster for each group member so you could get it off pretty quick if everyone's there with you and that's within 15 meters so it's not too bad and all rogue status actions that result in a rank up are doubled so like i said before uh you should be the one knocking them all down when they're down so you can either pull out your pistol and hit them, get that predatory, or you can pull out your lightweight M4, and if, say, your team member got somebody down, uh, you know, down the road or something, you can pull out your lightweight M4, mow them down, and get that predatory still. And uh, for all set bonus 6 Banshee, all your rewards are improved for manhunt, for killing manhunts, and whatnot. And the other half of set bonus 6 is the Wild Not Rogue, damage to manhunts are increased by 2% for each manhunt level they have. So on top of all of this damage, if you're going against manhunts, each manhunt rank, you get more damage. So say you go into a server with a whole bunch of rank 5 manhunts, you're doing an additional 10% damage for the 6-piece. So you get the 10% off the 6-piece, you get the 15% off of the damage to targets out of cover. You get the 10% uh, increase from the set bonus 4 and if you die from them you get another 10% increase and you get the 10% off of the responsive. So like come on now let's see what is that so 20% if you die 15 so that's what 35 45 from the responsive and additional 10 so that's 55% so if you die from a manhunt and they are rank 5, you get additional 55% damage to them as soon as you come back out of that checkpoint. That's with your responsive, that's with your 20% uh, increase because they just killed you, and that's because they're rank 5 on manhunt. You should have no problems mowing them down. So that is your set bonuses for Banshee. Uh, all of these are maxed out, so I'm not going to talk about the armor. So let's just go through them really quick. The Banshee Shadow Vest, Rolled Stamina. Health e uh, Enemy Armor Damage as the Major Attributes. And Ammo Capacity as the Minor. Obviously, if you are going Rogue, you do not need the Ammo Capacity, so you could switch that off for some sort of resistance or what have you. Uh, the enemy armor damage, again, is also optional. You can switch that to EDR or skill haste, what have you. Personal preference. The two mods I am running on this chest piece, both stamina with crit hit chance. Let's go to the backpack. Rolled firearms with crit hit damage as the major attribute and disrupt resistance as the minor. 
the mods I am running, Firearms Crit Chance, and two First Aid Self Heal mods. So as you guys could see, I do not have the ammo on the backpack. So just in case I'm not rogue, I'll still have a little bit extra ammo capacity, but it shouldn't matter when you are rogue. Now moving on to the gloves, uh, stamina with crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and SMG damage. Let's go on to the mask, rolled firearms with crit hit chance and damage to elites. The mod I'm running on the mask is stamina with crit chance. Now, the reason I have damage to elites, on top of all that damage you do to targets out of cover and what have you, all of that damage, add the damage to elites and you can mow down those NPCs when you're trying to get away from players or trying to chase players or say you're fighting somebody in you know the Q building you need to mow down all those elites and then get back into the fight let's go down to the knee pads rolled firearms with crit hit chance uh, for the minor attributes disrupt and bleed resistance and damage to elites the mods on the knee pads firearms with crit chance and first aid self heal mod and finally, Banshee Shadow Holster, 1401 across the board, crit hit chance, and again, first aid self heal mod. So getting to the abilities, we all know with 1.8.3, the drop and pop is now obsolete. So make sure if you are running this immune bag and you do need that health, have it down for at least 10 seconds. 10 seconds will give you the full uh, heal, so anything less than that will obviously give you a reduced heal. Also, this is a team build, so I am running the booster instead of an overheal. I am running the immune to help out other people from the bleed, and I am running a recovery link to pick up anybody. The talents, Adrenaline, Critical Save, Strike Back, and Combat Medic. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your... 1.8.3 six piece banshee um, this is team oriented and let's see card counter booster there you guys go make sure you got that 500 500 it's your boy kamikaze von doom here i'll see you guys in the next one peace